Let you in. Are you guys waiting for day two? Okay, it's day two. It's day two. And I just got out the shower, so I'm gonna guy. I'm gonna give you guys a review of day one. If I saw any changes, and then we are gonna chat while I put my second mask on day two. So what I did find that was different was my skin has been a lot softer, a little more supple, and it's definitely not because of the coconut oil because I always use coconut oil and it's never dissolved, okay? So right now it's dry because I haven't put anything on it. I just got the shower, so I'm about to put the Seamoss Gel on for the second day in the row. And that, so that was my observation from the first day my skin is a little softer, a little more supple. I don't see any changes in the blemishes. Of course, I didn't expect to after one day, but hopefully after five days, we can see some changes. Um, thank you for following me. Thank you for following this video sequence. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below what type of content you'd like to see. So y'all, you saw the title. I'm gonna talk about this Kaya and Trina beef. This long going beef that's ridiculous to me. But first, I kind of am excited to put this on today. Well right now especially because my face is so dry. Like I haven't even put on any moisturizer because I knew I was going to put this mask on. So. Oh it's cool. I love it, it feels so soothing. Like aloe vera, that's what it feels like. So tell me, have y'all heard about this beef with Kaya and Miss Trina? This video has been circulating on social media of Kaya just going ham on Trina. And I'm gonna uh, let you guys hear a snippet, but it's a little extra, so. And it's a whole five minute rant. I mean, she literally goes to town on Trina. And I'm like, come on now. Oh, this feels so good. It's so soothing. I still have that pimple, you guys. It feels like it's drying up, though. If you guys know any skin regimens that get your skin clear, like if you were someone that had acne or hyperpigmentation all your life, my skin is um oily and dry. I don't know how it's both, but it kind of is. I don't remember if I got put it on my nose yesterday, but I'm making extra sure that I do today. So guys, Kaya is a rapper. I don't, I can't really pinpoint where she's from. I know she be representing somewhere in Florida, but not Miami. And Trina, we know, well we know Kaya too. My neck, my back. And she has several other hits. And I am not biased at all because I actually really like Kaya. Um, I used to watch her YouTube channel probably less than two years ago. I used to watch her YouTube channel like every single day and be dying laughing. But you know what? I don't watch it anymore. You know why? Growth. Okay? My spirit can't take all that negativity anymore. At first it was funny to me because I was transitioning and I'm still transitioning. But um, you can't be the same person you was a year ago or even two years ago. So, I love Kaya. She's a Scorpio like me. You know what I'm saying? Got a mouth like me. You know what I'm saying? And she was just funny like me. And I just really enjoyed her content. But it got to the point where it was like all the time negative, negative, negative. I could just, I just don't have, I just don't have it in me anymore. I can't, my spirit, I just, something feels wrong. It's not, it's, it's no longer entertaining to me. Let me just say that negativity is no longer entertaining entertaining to me and i'm sure she has other stuff on her channel which i'll check it out again because um now that i'm talking about it, i kind of miss her but <sighs> child her and trina like why does somebody have to be the queen of anything why can't we all be queens why can't we take a page out of jill scott and erica badu's book and all be queens why can't we all be queens and fix each other's crowns and stop talking trash about each other 
and stop trying to put each other down because the person that's trying to put the person the other people down is the person that feels down about themselves like apparently and I, it's sad to say that because I love Kaya and I like what she stands for she's not about no Hollywood mess you know she ain't gonna kiss nobody's butt or anything else to get ahead in life she's just gonna grind it out I really admired that quality you know what I'm saying and Trina you know we know Trina you know what I'm saying from Love and Hip Hop if you don't know her from before Love and Hip Hop with her rap career it's really sad to me that it has come to the point where you are sitting there for five minutes going on this woman. This woman has lost her mother. You know what I'm saying? She's another black woman. You know what's going on out here in this world. And we still putting out content like this. Like black people, we need to wake up and stop going, being combative against each other. I don't have the energy for that. I really don't have the energy for that. I have no hate for nobody. It's just, all right, let me let you guys hear just a small excerpt because it's atrocious how she just dragged this girl. She dragged her for filth, honey. Oh, yeah, if it wasn't for T double D, because you ain't <laughs> shit sour puss and you ain't had not man hit. Uh uh. So, where's you getting all this throne and queen and crown <laughs> from? Gag order, let's talk about it all. Now, I know you still mourning the death of your man and you still grieving, so I'm gonna let you have your little burst of confusion and, and let you slide when you act like you don't know a <laughs> and you, you ain't gonna address a <laughs> you set up there and talk about it. <laughs> 30 minutes. No, you don't want none of me. Let's talk about the mother. Talking about diamond prince. You pawned all your diamonds a long time ago. Ho, you don't own nothing but HIV and the HIV medications because that's the only thing you ever had was diseases up your ass. We the people want to know who playing your power puss, who rebaking your baddest bass down, who's sampling your hits, slinking that queen of the side, and you don't remember that you ain't never had a hit. In that goddamn order, you grab a pussy harbor. You better buy that dope chain, give her some powder treats, keep her quiet, and tell her to stay out my goddamn yard before she get drug and you get drug in it just cuz. We the people say the baddest bass and how I'm damn near 55 years old. How much is that in dog years? 385 old. Cause that's how old you look in your neck. And I'ma roast every motherfucking line and dent and crease and crevice out that until I get old and die in that order the glow worm went off for 19 minutes about something she says she has no time for girl bye, bye. Uh, not one hit out playing all your yeah, songs put the together bitch and we all Let know that i have more than one hit the only numbers on the chart you running up is your body and your medical bills because everybody you you know the life gets sucked out of them just ask wheezy need i say more look at him at you look at trick all the niggas you on this dude okay i can't i can't even take them off I love Kaya. I love Kaya. I love Kaya. You know, I love Trina. I love all of us black women. Let's just get it together. Let's just, you know, let's let's empower each other. Like we've done years and years of this mess. Now let's 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 switch it up. Let's get them scared and worried when we start getting along with each other. Do you know how worried they'd be? Do you know how worried they would be? Come on now. That goes for the black men, the black kings as well. Let's get along, okay? And I'm not trying to sound like Rodney King, but it's really outrageous. It's really outrageous. Power in numbers, okay? Let's get it together. My face is getting real tight, y'all. Day two. CMOS is dry. My face is dry. Oh my gosh. And it's itching. So I'm gonna take my black soap, wash my face, and I will see you guys in a second. So guys, I am back. I just washed my face with black soap and I put some coconut oil on my face a little bit. But what I wanted to tell you guys, my last video I was talking about um my consistency being a factor and why I hadn't found something. Oh my God, my cheeks hurt. But this is not from the sea moss. This is from the black soap, which goes back to my point. The reason why I haven't been con consistent with any of my skincare routines, whether it's proactive or any other acne treatments is because I have sensitive skin. So that means whatever you try, your skin's gonna be like ridiculous burning like right now 
my cheeks are burning. The black soap, that's why I stopped using it. My, I can use it on my body, but my, my face is kind of burning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to wash my face again. Or get my rag. Let me get my rag, guys. Oh, I have a lot of little. My niece is texting me about her um, infused desserts. Oh, I like number two. I like number two, boo. She, she's about to have her um, edible edibles. Yeah, guys. We're going to see about this, you know. Anyways, guys, if you like that video, make sure you smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys day 